Swigert joins the two lunar landers, Jim Lovell and Fred Hayes. Their destination, a difficult landing site in the moon's Fra Moro Hills. You know, when you're an astronaut, you've got to buy in to a lot of risk. Nobody's going to save you if the hardware doesn't work. You buy into that stuff if you're going to be an astronaut. If you can't buy into it, don't be an astronaut. T minus 25 seconds and counting, and Apollo 13 is go. You know, you're sort of relaxed because there's only two things that are going to happen. Either it's going to go as planned or something is going to go wrong. This was my last chance to get to the moon. Ignition sequence has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have commit and we have liftoff at 2.13. The Saturn V building up to 7.6 million pounds of thrust and it has cleared the tower. Flight dynamics officer says the trajectory looks good. We show a one half mile in altitude at this time. Apollo 13 is just the eighth launch of the most powerful rocket ever built. Roll complete and we're pitching. Roger that. Stand by for mode one, Bravo. Gene Krantz monitors all aspects of the launch from his desk at Mission Control in Houston. The flight director's job description is very simple. It's only one sentence long. It says to take any actions needed for crew safety and mission success. Crew safety is number one, mission success is number two. 